Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to my channel, La Brica Luce. In this video, I'll show you how to use one of my favorite time-saving tools, the bias tape maker. Here's what these tools look like. The four metal ones in the back are manufactured by Clover and sold at most sewing shops. The black one in the front is 3D printed from PLA plastic using a file on Thingiverse.com. These tape makers have a number etched into them, which is the width in millimeters of the bias tape that they make. Each bias tape maker has an output slot, shown at left, and an input groove, shaped kind of like a U, shown at right. You can also measure the output slot to determine the width of the bias tape a tool will create. Before you can use the bias tape maker though, you need to cut a strip of bias fabric. I'll show you how. In addition to your fabric, you'll need a straight edge, such as a ruler or a yardstick, and a marking device like a pencil or a piece of tailor's chalk. If you have a quilting ruler that is two or three inches wide, you can find the bias by aligning the selvage edge of your fabric across the diagonal of those one inch marks. Here's a handy trick if you don't have a clear quilting ruler printed with a grit. Take a sheet of paper and fold it at a diagonal so the short side aligns with the long side. Align the two edges with your selvage and the fold indicates your bias. Line your yardstick up with that fold and you're ready to mark your bias strip. The width of the strip you cut is double the width of the bias tape you intend to make with the tape maker. Preheat your iron and get your bias strip and tape maker ready to go. First, insert your bias strip of fabric into the input groove of the tape maker. The pointed end of the bias strip makes it easier to feed the fabric into the tool. Grab that little tip and pull the fabric through the tool. Then even up the folds of the bias tape where it comes out of the output slot. The loop on the back end of the tool allows you to pull the fabric through the tape maker smoothly. I prefer to press the bias tape I'm making with the two folds facing upward. I like to make sure that those folds are meeting down the center of the bias tape. I tend to use my homemade bias tape to bind the edges of hat brims and I like it to be an even fold. Some people prefer to press the bias tape that they're making from the opposite side with the two folded flanges facing downward. And that's fine. I find it a little bit more challenging to feed the bias fabric through the tape maker with this orientation, but choose whichever method works best for you. If you want to make your own custom bias tape to match the fashion fabric you're using on a project, these can really save you a lot of time. 